Here's how you can use view templates to simplify your export to Light Sansa to be able to work faster and quicker in Light Sansa. So view templates in Revit um, you are used to control the visibility of the things that we're seeing right here, for example, like the trees. And so if we go over to our visibility and graphics override and we click edit, all these model categories we're seeing here are what's going to be exported to Light Sansa. And so if we turn it off, we're not going to get it in Light Sansa. And so we can turn off what we don't need to simplify our models in Light Sansa so we can work faster and more effectively. And so if we go here and we select all, we can just unclick all these. We can go over to annotative and just turn off anything annotative to make just our 3D viewer look cleaner. And we'll go down the list here and we'll click what we want. Um, and this is for a general export. You may have specialty categories that you want to see. Um, but this is for a general, simple export to Light Sansa. So ceilings, columns, we want anything curtain related. Doors, um, sometimes you might want a duct because ducts can get rid of light fixtures. We won't use that in this case. Um, floors, um, a note about these three um, categories here, furniture, furniture systems, and generic models. Generic models can have all sorts of weird things in them. Same thing with furniture and furniture systems. And so if your model fails to export, try on clicking these three categories and see if that works. For right now, we'll leave them unchecked. Um, lighting fixtures. Um, we can do parking. We won't do planning. We don't want we don't want trees in our in our model. That geometry is quite complex. Um, ramps. A note on railing. Um, stairs are good, but railings are very um, complex and they have a lot of weird things. And so it's advised to keep railings um, unchecked. Um, roofs, site, stairs. Um, if you do have a lot of structural stuff um, in your model, you can you can find out which categories you need. For now, we'll keep them unchecked. Um, walls and windows. And this is the most this is the minimal export um, that's recommended. Uh, a note on lighting fixtures. A lot of the times, um, if you're a lighting designer, you have lighting fixtures in your file, and there could be some lighting fixtures in the architectural model. If that's the case, um, you'll have to turn off the lighting fixtures in the linked um, file, which we'll show you that in a second. And we hit OK. And now we can see we've really vastly simplified what we're getting um, from our model. And so we can go over to View, View Templates, create a template from the current view. Um, demo, I'll name this demo view template. Hit OK. And then to apply this to the view, we go over here to the view template, demo view template, and now this view is saved with this view template. And so if you had a link, if you, if you had a link in this model, which we don't, you'd see a pop-up right here that says links. And then you could go into the links and you could adjust the categories that are selected and turn off things more individually on a link basis. So like the lighting pictures, for example. We'll just hit OK for now. We go over to Light Stanza, export to Light Stanza. We'll do the whole model and we'll export. Here we go. So while this is loading, um, it's going to load in the background. I just wanted to point out another thing. You can change your default 3D view and your view template in the export process. So if you had a different one that you wanted to use, like Light Sansa Default or Light Sansa Minimal, you can change that as well. Um, and it won't affect the template that's, that's selected for this view right here. The other thing to note is anything that you see in this 3D viewer will get exported. And so you could change your oopsies. You could change your 3D view um, if it might have something slightly different. And let's pull it up. And here we go. And now we can see that model come in to Light Stanza. Simplifying your model helps uh, Light Stanza on the web work quicker and also your export work quicker as well.